Welcome to Remnant Online Followers. Please kindly subscribe. Thank you. I went to a place to preach. A place we went to three years before. And we were struggling for venue. Knowledge increased. I came back. They received me in the king's palace. The king wouldn't let me go. He called his wife to talk to me. He was excited to have me. When I wanted to leave, a king gave me a seat. The same place we entered a few years before. That we were struggling to have a small space to have a meeting. Meanwhile, we have not started. There is a version of you. You. That the president will book appointment with. But there is a knowledge that commands that authority. And so don't allow anything to waste your life. Distraction. Things that don't add to your destiny. Why do you think demons are on overtime duty? To distract and waste your time. Because they know time is the unit of procuring knowledge. They know. And so when a man becomes wise, one of his greatest pursuit is the knowledge of the holy. The Bible said in Job 28 verse 28, it said the fear of the Lord, he said this is wisdom. He said the knowledge of the holy, he said this is understanding. When you get it, you'll be shocked how food was not your problem. You'll be shocked how money was not your problem. You'll be shocked how the things you called your problem were not your problem. Only that those things were designed to respond to your knowledge. There's an amount of money that will respond to your knowledge. I was sharing the other day with Kai, knowledge. Knowledge is excellent. We will travel for 14 hours. Go for a meeting. Preach with sweat. When you finish, they will now give you 30,000 naira. You will thank your God and go home. And then, as knowledge increased, they will invite you for a meeting. They will be apologizing. Get knowledge. I beg you, get knowledge. There's a knowledge you touch now, you will gain certain access. You, will, you see, don't manipulate. Just have knowledge. There's a knowledge you will have now. If you sing here, it will take six months for you, for your itinerary to be free. There's a knowledge you will have. You will just share something for five minutes. They hope people will be looking for you everywhere. They just want you to come and stand where they are standing. So instead of manipulating and cutting corners, seek the true knowledge that comes from the realms of light. When you touch it, you have authority. The moment Adam touched the knowledge of evil, he was driven from the company of the cherubims. That means what kept him there was the knowledge he was working with. As he touched the forbidden knowledge, it became impossible for him to operate as a prince among other princes in the realm of God. In fact, a cherub stood with a flaming sword turning on either side, contending with the guy. You can't come close, I will kill you. And he ran for his life. Meanwhile, he was also a dominion. He operated in that level of authority before, but when he fell. Have you, have you seen a man who is caught in immorality? The wife will now slap him. That man that used to stand like this will now say sorry. Sorry. Because he has entered the forbidden quarter. His authority is gone. If he dare says, I'm the head there, they will shoot him. <laughs> Even him knows that they can't invoke headship there because he has lost it. He went the way, the wrong path. Wrong. The quality of life you will live is dependent on the quality of knowledge that you have. What it also means is that your destiny is not in any man's hand. Your destiny is at the mercy of your understanding. 
So if you want to improve the quality of your destiny, what you need is to improve the quality of your understanding. That's why the Bible says, buy the truth. Sell it not. He said he has given us all things that pertain to life and, de and destiny. He said, but it is through what? The knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. So when you see people walking, their experiences in life is a revelation of their spiritual understanding. That's why you don't have to envy anybody. And that's why when you pity people, you are not helping them. I was telling them in Ghana last week. I told them, everybody you see carries different dimension and different versions of himself. The one manifesting now is the level of understanding he has. One man can be a system and that same man can be a beggar in two different versions. There's a level of understanding that will make him a beggar. There's another understanding that will make him a system. So if you want to help that man, pressure him to get the knowledge that activates the systemic dimension of him. If you give him $10, you didn't help him. In fact, that man's dimension of royalty will be angry with the man for begging. That's why sometimes when you ask for help, you feel bad. It's not pride. There is another version of you that is a giver. There's another version of you that is a king. But that version of you is at the mercy of a knowledge. And so that version of you is angry with this you who is a beggar. Because what you should be looking for is not money, it's knowledge. And so he's offended with you that instead of seeking knowledge, you are seeking money. You know, four days ago, somebody who was a Senate president looked for my number and was trying to reach me. He said, I need to have an appointment. I want to see you. That's a third in command in this country. When I saw that message, I almost wept. I told myself, why don't I know what I know now 10 years ago? Because if I know what I know now 10 years ago, my meeting him would have been more strategic. May you not enter your breakthrough when it has expired. The president of this country can look for you. You sitting here, you. But there's a knowledge you must have for him to find you. He said, kings. He said, the Gentiles will come to your light. He said, but kings will come to the brightness of your eyes. So if you want kings to come to you, don't invite them. Get the bright light. The bright light will become an invitation. If you invite them, you have reproach. Knowledge. Is authority knowledge is glory knowledge is access one of the elders in Agbo invited me ah, it was me and Victor that went for that meeting when we entered the land the moment we were landing I saw a convoy come to pick us they drove us to the hotel. As we came down, the protocol that followed were like 10 persons. Marched like military men, took us to the biggest hotel in the city. Before I knew they were serving us like kings. As I got ready, before I came down, the cars were already parked. People were rushing all over. There was coordinated chaos carried me in the car, drove to the church. We dropped at the road, at the third road. The red carpet was from the church to the third road. Don't touch the ground. Step on the rock. As I was walking on the rock, coincidentally, the street where that church was, was the same street where 10 years ago as a youth copper. I was left with 200 naira, praying to have enough money to move from Agbo to Asapa. I just said, what if time was withdrawn? That means the difference was the knowledge acquired over time. What it means is that you can't be stranded, you. The reason you are stranded now is because of the knowledge gap. Myself and the winner just landed Ghana last week. The moment we landed, 
five SUVs, black, were parked with a motorcade. As I landed, they picked me straight from the plane to the VIP. I sat down, crossed my leg. They were stamping my passport, doing everything. When they finished, they said, sir, please. We walked out. The cars were already on like 30 minutes before I came. And we were moving with a motorcade. They were shutting down traffic, stopping vehicles on high road, highway in another country. Highway. They were shutting vehicles. Shut down. Shut. Ah. The pursuit is not those things. That's vanity. God will allow such to honor you. But do you know that a few years ago, going to Ghana would have been a prayer point. If you know the excellency, if you knew the excellency of knowledge, you will pursue it with everything that is in you. Your glory is tied to it. Your authority is tied to it. Your access is tied to it. I can't finish telling you. I was to go to Botswana. The moment they sent my name to the immigration, the minister of immigration said, Apostle Mike, they approved it immediately. No protocol. Every protocol stands still. I want to meet him when he comes. The moment you get knowledge, your age becomes irrelevant. Your skin color becomes irrelevant. And that's why people who are not wise, they are judging people based on age. They will look at somebody and say, he is proud. Because they think you are age mate. Pursue knowledge. See, pursue knowledge. In all thy getting, the Bible said, get understanding. Too many people are bankrupt of knowledge. Bankrupt. I realized that with knowledge, what you can do for two hours can be more important than what you will do for one year without knowledge. I will go to a place and labor for two hours. I will come out with what I couldn't save for one year. Seven years ago, six years ago, five years ago. I now realize what makes people get ahead in life is not labor. It's labor with understanding. How can suddenly your life is so compressed that two hours of your life is more important than one year of your life in the past? If you know that, then you will hasten your way through understanding. There was a time when I will save for a whole year. And what I will save will not even be enough to pay for house rent. For one year. But when knowledge comes, you throw into a place casually. Maybe you were even tired when you entered. And you just labored from the place of authority and rest. And what will come out? If it's that type of house that you were in, which you are no longer in, you can pay for 30 of it for five years. What is the difference? Knowledge. He said, buy the truth. Sell it not. How do you get knowledge? You get knowledge by asking or prayerfully studying. The reason I put prayerfully studying is because these kinds of knowledge are furnished by the spirit of wisdom and revelation. And so you don't, this knowledge, you don't break upon it just because you read a book. While you are reading, a spirit will open your understanding. So you read prayerfully to access this kind of knowledge. Either you ask or you prayerfully study. If it is knowledge you are looking for, the first gateway to knowledge is by asking. You have not asked, asked before because you think what you know is enough. But I came to tell you that you are not only dealing with men. If you are dealing with men, you can bring the credential of your certificate and experience. You are dealing with spirits. 
And when spirits are involved, your credential and your experience will count for nothing. I'm giving you superior prayer point from tonight. And so some of you may need to stop telling God, please give me money. You need to start telling God, give me wisdom. You need to start telling God, give me knowledge and understanding. That's the wisdom of Solomon. In 1 Kings chapter 3, from verse 4 to verse 12, when God, he gave an offering of a thousand bond cattle to God, and God came to him. He said, what do you want? He said, give me wisdom and understanding to be able to govern these people. And God said something. He said, because you have not asked for power, for money, and the life of your enemy. He said, what you have asked, I've given you, and in addition, because every time knowledge comes, every other thing is added. That's why I said, thou shalt know the truth. The truth shall make you free. Your problem is not money. Poverty has trained us to ask only for money. The day you start seeking wisdom and wisdom comes, money will be a byproduct. And the way to gain that knowledge is to consciously ask. And it's not a casual request. You see Colossians 1 9. Paul said that prayer is added with intense desire. Strong desire. Bishop Oedeko said he prayed for two years for wisdom. Two years. It looked like foolishness. But today, he has more than 6,000 staff. They have built two universities from rest. They have four aircrafts. Others were asking for money. He was asking for wisdom. Because wisdom is the principal thing. He said, through knowledge is an house built it. He said, by understanding, are all chambers filled with every good thing. People are asking for good things instead of asking for knowledge and understanding that brings every good thing. And that's why they keep having enough to eat. But the man who wants to be a captain, he knows what to pray for. And what he prays for is spiritual understanding. In this month, God will bless us with spiritual knowledge. Thank you for watching. Please kindly like comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so you always get notified whenever we post a new video. And don't forget to share. Thank you.